Uh, we have a bunch of new updates we are rolling out at Bill, starting with Visual Studio. It is the most powerful IDE for .NET and C++. Uh, make, and we're making it even better, right? .NET 10 support, a live preview at design time, improvements to Git tooling, a new debugger for cross-platform apps, and much, much more. And we are moving, by the way, to a monthly cadence for stable releases as well. And when it comes to VS Code, just a couple of weeks ago, we shipped, we shipped our hundredth release in the open. It included improved multi-window support and made it easier to view stage directly from within the editor. And GitHub continues to be the home for developers. GitHub Enterprise has tremendous momentum in, in the enterprise. And we're doubling down for developers building any applications. Trust, security, compliance, auditability, data residency are even more critical today. Now, starting with tools you use to the infrastructure you deploy on to reach the users and the markets you want. You know, talking about trust, open source is at the core of GitHub, and we are taking this next big step. As GitHub Copilot has evolved inside VS Code, AI has become so central to how we code. And that's why we are open sourcing Copilot in VS Code. We're really excited about this. You know, this is a big deal. Starting today, we will integrate these AI-powered capabilities directly into the core of VS Code, bringing them into the same open source repo that powers the most, world's most loved uh, dev tool. And of course, we'll continue to build out GitHub Copilot 2. In fact, over the past few years, we've gone from code completions to chat, to multi-file edits, and now agents. And this same pattern is emerging more broadly across the agentic web. Uh, you can ask questions and AI assistants give us answers. You can assign tasks to agents and have them execute them, or work side by side with AI to complete jobs and projects. And you can mix and match all of these form factors, right? That's kind of what we care about as developers. It's not about any one of them. In fact, we're building app modernization right into agent mode, right? So Copilot now is capable of upgrading frameworks like a Java 8 to 20, Java 21, or .NET 6 to .NET 9, and migrate any on-premise app to the cloud. Uh, it creates a plan for your code and dependencies, suggests the fixes along the way, learns from changes you make, and makes the entire process seamless. And the next thing we're introducing is an autonomous agent for site reliability engineering, or SRE. I mean, think about one of the biggest pain points for any of us, right? Getting woken up in the middle of the night to deal with a life site issue. Uh, take a pager in duty, memory leak issue, um, the SRE agent starts automatically triaging, root causing, mitigating the issue, and then it logs the incident management report as a GitHub issue with all the repair items. Uh, and from there, you can even assign the repair items uh, to GitHub Copilot. And not, we're not stopping there. This is the next big step forward, which is a full coding agent built right into GitHub taking Copilot from being a pair programmer to a peer programmer. You can assign issues to Copilot, bug fixes, new features, code maintenance, and it'll complete these tasks auto autonomously. And today, I'm super excited that it's now available to all of you. You know, let me walk over, you know, gone are the days when I could just simply, you know, report bugs. At this point, I get to, I'm assigned bugs to fix, and, you know, that's kind of called empowerment. Um, and, you know, here I am uh, with all the bugs that I have or issues that I have to deal with in uh, GitHub issues. Uh, the first one is adding a filter 
for user group size community page. Let's go take a look at this issue. Um, it's nice, it, they say like I've gotta go put some new filter up here. It also shows me where. Uh, I guess it needs to do a range, small, medium, large, uh, by size or some kind of a percentile. Um, it's like some kind of a group by case when type of thing. So anyway, so let's do the thing that is easiest for me. Uh, in fact, it even has some caching stuff, which I have no idea what that is, but I guess there's a staging cache and then a redis. Okay, fine. Let's do the thing that I can do, which is assign it to my new buddy, Copilot. So I'm going to assign it, and um, there you go. Let's go and see. Uh, let me scroll down. Uh, ah, it's picked it up. It sees me. It creates a PR. And, uh, you know, you see that nice eye emoji? It sort of knows that I'm here, and it's sort of going on to work. And we'll come back and check it out later, right? It's just so fun, right, to be able to go take care of issues like that, like email triage assigned to Copilot. Uh, you know, it's, but what it's doing is it's setting up a branch. Uh, it starts uh, GitHub Actions in the sense it just generates the compute uh, for you or creates a virtual machine using GitHub Actions. Uh, it commits a draft PR to session logs, and in fact, you can go back to the session logs and continue to see all the, uh, the draft PRs as it's working. Our coding agent respects all the security measures while delivering a great developer experience. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.